Hi, my name is Melanie Gray, and um, for my book report, I have decided to paint my own drum. Much like Bernard's grandfather in the painted drum, I had the opportunity to build my own. Um, I went through the birthing ceremony after constructing the drum and tanning the hides. I did every part of of making a drum in the most tr traditional sense. Uh, we were taught by a woman named Helena. It was just wonderful. And after the birthing ceremony, after the tobacco had all fallen off our drums and we had brought them to life, she gave us each a song. Um, because at the time my mother was diagnosed with cancer and she was currently in the hospital fighting yet again, um, fighting the cancer, Helena gave me a song and it was a lullaby and it was called Humba. And she gave me that and she told me that that was my song because it was meant to incorporate that that loving and nurturing relationship between a mother and daughter that, you know, can be reciprocated. Helena, de Helena decided to give me this this song because it, it incorporated the idea that as our parents get older, you know, we care for them, we become we become the lullaby singers in a way. While I was reading this book and I was listening to Faye discuss her relationship with Elsie and her mother and, you know, the 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 loss that she felt when she lost her sister or the other deaths that occurred um in their New Hampshire home or area and I just it made me think of that, and I kept picturing my drum in my head because we were discuss. Obviously, the book is, you know, it centers around the drum and how it 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 can connects all of these people, all of the stories, and it has become a healer and well known in their community, and it has such a rich history behind it, and it is alive, and it sounds when Elsie or when Faye enters the room at the top. Uh, Tatro House, and I just, I kept picturing my own drum, and kept thinking about how I had not yet painted it, and that I would, I would like to, and so, um, I went on this bit of a, a journey, uh, alongside her, and I thought that this was the perfect time to paint my drum. I took it upon myself to, um, actually use the symbols that Faye dis uh, discusses that were on the painted drum in, in the book. And the reason I chose to, to use these with my own drum, it, it really resonated with me deeply. So I'll show you the drum now. So this is my, oh, got it sideways here. Um, this is my drum. I, I just finished painting it. It's, I'm very happy with how it turned out. So above here we have, we have the girl. And um, I chose, chose to represent that here because, um, you know, there are obviously other reasons for the girl being represented on the drum um, by Bernard's grandfather, but I chose to represent the girl here because it, it for me, symbolizes the relationship between mother, daughter, and child, and there are so many relationships in this, in this um, book that are about mother-daughter relationships. And so I chose to represent this woman here because it kind of reminds me of women and how precious we are and how important that relationship is. Below here I have included the wolf, the wolves, or a wolf, as a representation of the wolves that appear quite frequently in the novel. And I found that um, I was able to choose this to represent maybe on a, um, a lighter note because I am of wolf clan, I'm Mohawk wolf clan, um, and so I chose to represent the wolf as well. So when when Faye was originally discussing what was on that drum, I thought, oh my goodness, this all resonates deeply with me and who I am as an indigenous woman. So I painted the wolf here as a representation of our clan. Um, and and so I, uh, I made it so it was howling, of course, speaking its truth, speaking, you know, um, its, its history and its own, its own life. Um, next to it, of course, is the hand, and I chose the hand, obviously because it was in the book, but also because my own hand made this drum. Just as Bernard's grandfather made his drum, I found, you know, it's it's just so, it's part of, of the drum, my own creation, um, that I found was good to represent. And I'm also a very, very hands-on person when it comes to anything. I do a lot of traditional artwork as well, so I thought that that on two levels worked. 
Um, finally, I have chosen to represent a cloud just to kind of, um, I, I debated on whether or not to represent um, a celestial dome for like a spirit world to just to kind of think, you know, um, make note that my mother is now in the spirit world. But I decided to do the clouds because I thought as um, I was thinking about Bernard's grandfather and how he was crossing the river with his drum, thinking about how he was going to decorate it, how he was going to dress it, as it were as he said, um, and how he saw the yellow dance across the sky, and all of a sudden it came to him. He, he could just see it so clearly in his head. And so I, I chose to put a cloud, because it represents, you know, the sky, and it's, it's, um, I just chose to put the, the raindrops as a representation that, um, the rain, the water is, uh, is helpful. It, it's, it's loving and gentle, and it helps the hands, the wolf, the women, the people grow, and I've also, of course, added the four directions um, representation as an arrow, and I also put Namagoa up here. One time, Bernard's grandfather had stopped to thank Creator, or anyone, or, or no one, that um, he said thank you uh, for my existence. So I decided to put Namagoa there because I thought that that resonated really deeply with with a lot, like, thank you for my time with my mother, thank you for giving me to the Wolf Clan, for giving me the ability to work with my hands, and, and you know, that ability to really connect with the, the story and the drum within the story. And actually, one of the most important parts that that sat so deeply with me was um, actually quite near the end, when Faye was was saying goodnight to her mother, and she she was talking about how, how mothers protect. So on page 274, I just want to read this really quickly. Life will break you. Nobody can protect you from that, and living alone won't either, for solitude will also break you with its yearning. You have to love. You have to feel. It is the reason you are here on earth. You are at risk. You are here to risk your heart. You are here to be swallowed up, and when it happens that you are broken, or betrayed, or left, or hurt, or death brushes near. Let yourself sit by an apple tree and listen to the apples falling all around you in heaps, wasting their sweetness. Tell yourself that you tasted as many as you could. And I thought that was the perfect way to sum up this book, the all the negative things and, and the horrible things that happened, and then being able to come back and create a drum and have that drum hold so much of your life and just know that you had a purpose here and that your purpose can be within the drum or displayed on top of it. And I just thought that that was the best way to answer the question about how I am connected to the drum in the story. Thank you.